Alright, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Just leaving the gym. It's like 10 20 probably and I went at like 9 o'clock today because he's out changing the oil in the truck and then messing around with some wiring in it with my dad late last night and so I kind of was up late and then had to go to the gym a little later today but Toby's still in Tahoe apparently the weather was good the first day he was there and now it's not as good probably because of the hurricane Hurricane Hillary which is freaking crazy I can't believe there's a hurricane over here I didn't even know well like on the west coast I didn't even know there were hurricanes over here and it's funny because my grandma had just sent me a thing saying like or like uh, watch this video before you move to Palmdale California and in it it was like this person just driving around and then little like information messages would pop up on the screen and it said low hurricane warning and then in the comments people were like low hurricane warning why would you put that there are no hurricanes over here and the person who made the video said for people from like the east coast that are looking to move over there and then like a week after that hurricane hillary comes in and it was so funny it's like how ironic is that but anyways when i was at the gym i was listening to uh diary of a ceo with neil degrasse tyson and they were talking about a bunch of different things and he's a really good like speaker and he really really good with his voice and stuff but I don't know he has some interesting viewpoints and oh there's a Corvette one of the new ones is red and of course it's an old white guy driving the Corvette it's always old white guys and um, but anyways they were talking about like a bunch of things like the universe and death and stuff and how like from 30 30 years ago like would that be four generations ago like not 30 years ago but further than that and he was talking about his parents Neil and he was saying how our life expectancy is like 20 years longer than theirs was and he said eventually it will get to a point like where the only way people will die will be like getting hit by a bus or like some physical thing that actually kills us instead of old age and it was like I don't know about that that's kind of interesting to think about and then he asked the question he's like well if you could live forever would you and just thinking about that for a minute it's like I mean that's an interesting idea because if you could live forever time is the most valuable resource that we have so would that devalue the value of time if you could just live forever? And then what would be important if you could live forever? Because if you were here forever, then our most like biological need to reproduce, we wouldn't need anymore because we wouldn't need anyone to continue our legacy if we were here forever. So that would get messed up. And then, I don't know, what else would get messed up? There's like a whole train of things that would be affected by that if you did live forever. It's kind of interesting to think about. I think personally, with especially the way that the world seems to be going in, I would not want to live forever. But I mean, it would be cool to see the future. I would like to see like snippets of the future, you know? like way beyond my time but I wouldn't want to live that long like I would like it would be cool to just like see a documentary of it that's like 100% gonna happen you know what I'm saying but it's interesting to think about that but last night I was listening to well I was watching some videos on like there was one with uh, Patrick I always forget his last name. Patrick, he's kind of like, he's one of the gurus online. 
but it was an older video because he had like a buzz cut and he was talking with the whiteboard and he said it was how to make a million dollars a year and he broke it down and he was talking about it like logically mathematical way like if you were doing sales and you sold what did he say i think he said if you sold and got a thousand dollar commission on something and this is like not including taxes this is not like taking them into account because there's a way to get around taxes if you know the game but if you made a thousand dollar commission on a sales thing then i think he said like it would take you 83 sales a month to make roughly a million dollars a year before taxes and so if you broke that down if you started to like get people to work with you and you hired a sales team it would take You'd have to have like five people. If you only got $250 of the thousand and then you had to pay the sales team the rest of the commission like for the person who sold it, then you'd have to have like five people that make 63 sales a year or a month on that thousand dollar thing where you get $250 of the commission. And it's like, he just kept breaking things down like that and then he talked he used a real estate agent as an example but he used six percent commission on like a five hundred thousand dollar house which would be thirty thousand dollars even though like real estate agents they get three percent commission if they have the buyer and then another three percent if they have the seller so in a perfect situation where you have the buyer and the seller you would get six percent which is thirty thousand on a five hundred thousand dollar house and he he talked about it like that and in that area i think he said you'd have to sell four houses a month by yourself maybe it was five to make a million dollars a year and then he's like well if you have agents working under you like say you'd need four agents where you got as the broker because the brokerage gets like three percent or three percent of your commission i think or maybe it was seven percent i don't know but where you have to pay the broker if you were the broker and you had agents working under you then you'd need like four agents that sell two houses a month and it's so crazy to think about it like that a million dollars when you think of it that way is so tangible it's like how could someone like think that it's not possible and it's weird because like he started that video off by saying last year and i forget what year he was making this it was obviously a couple years old but he said the year before he was filming that that 500,000 people in the united states so 500,000 out of 350 million people made over a million dollars in that year and then if you think that's crazy then you think about mount everest and he said 4,000 people, only 4,000 people out of 8 billion have ever reached the summit at Mount Everest. And it's like, well, you hear stories about Mount Everest a lot. And you think, a lot of people probably think like, oh yeah, that wouldn't be that hard. Because like you go hiking in like, you know, just the local hills. H hiking isn't really that hard. So you think, oh, that's, that's cool. But I mean, how hard can it possibly be, right? But then only 4% or 4,000 people out of 8, bil 8 billion people in the world have ever hiked successfully to the summit. But 500,000 out of 350 million people have made a million dollars in a year. And it's just crazy to think about, it's super weird. And um, one of my friends on the Discord put me onto this channel, this YouTube channel called the Dry Creek Wrangler School. And it's this old guy that lives like somewhere rural and he talks about a bunch like life lessons that he's learned and stuff and he was talking about and one of his most recent ones the loudest guy in the room and he mentioned andrew tate because of how loud he is and he's like why do all these guys have to talk about their money and their cars and their women's and it just shows that they're really insecure because the most Secure people are the quietest people in the room. And they're the most dangerous people in the room. And I mean, I can see where he's coming from with that. 
but it's like everyone needs something to work towards right and the money and the cars are just like well for me now looking at like from my perspective I know that they're not going to make me happy. They're just something to work towards. It's something to do with your life because everyone needs something to do. If you nobody's going to be content just sitting doing nothing by themselves all day every day like people get bored. And if you have something like that where like if you do get it, then people will respect you because you have it because it's hard to get, then it's something like to work towards because there's a reward in the end and then it also grants you like the respect and then the money grants you freedom and also like going back to his thing he was talking about how his dad was died poor because he was a servant and he served everyone else and he made his life about serving everyone else but if he would have had money think of the amount of people that he could have helped like the more money you have, the more people you can help. And a lot of people with money don't look at it that way and they don't end up helping people. But just in general, if you think about it, the more money you have, the more people you can help. And that's just that, period. Because then you're able to do so much with your money because, I mean, like, it's money. You can do whatever you want if you have enough money. So, I mean think of it that way and he had good points but it's just interesting to think about and it's all about perspective and where you live and he's lived in a rural place and I mean I live in kind of a rural place and it seems to be like that here too people don't appreciate those things like money and cars and stuff but at the end of the day it's just something to work towards it's just like people need something to do with their lives and that's the goal for some people it can be anything. But I'm going to wrap up the video there. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and share the video with a friend. Join that Discord link in the description. It's an online brotherhood where we talk about a bunch of things in life. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.